What's up, everybody? Hope everybody had a good weekend. Uh, I'm filming this on a Sunday again. As you can see, I've got, well, it's actually a commercial right now, but in the background I have the Patriots and Saints game on. It's a pretty good game so far. Tom Brady's off to a, a really good start t today, so so we'll see if he can hold up and see if the Patriots can get a win this week. So, got some mail here. I've got a handful of mail here. Uh, I actually opened one already. Um, off camera so the first one here to start out with it's gonna be Jose Fernandez um, it's gonna be sorry about the lighting in here guys it's kind of bad let me tilt this down maybe a little bit um, it is the blue refractor from 16 finest of Jose Fernandez Man, the lighting in here is really bad guys uh, I apologize I've got the Sun coming through this window over over here so it's kind of bad but uh, I don't know we'll keep it like this I guess but uh, it's the blue refractor from 16 finest, like I said, numbered to 150. And uh, I got this for 450 shipped. So pretty damn good deal. It is a PSA 9, but I mean, that's still for 425, less than the cost of getting it slabbed, probably half the cost of getting it slabbed. And then he also threw in these extras here for base from I think that's 16 tops and then a foil card here so that's pretty cool did not have any of those and let's get into some packages now Sports card breakers. I got into a break here about a week or so ago. Of, I think it was 16 at, or 17 absolute. Sorry, uh, and I had I you know, it was a player break, and I had Philip Rivers. Didn't hit anything, but but this base card. But it looks like he also threw in a Joey Bosa. So that's numbered out of 6.99. That's from Panini. Panini Day, it looks like. So, I think I paid like four bucks for that spot in that break of a case. So, it wasn't too bad. It's not the end of the world. Next up here. This is a good one here. This is my first auto of this guy. And uh, let me get it out of this case because there's something going on inside of here. I want to make sure it's okay. Wow, I put this in a top loader that's way too small for this card. It is, like, stuck in here. Like, I can't even pull this thing out of here. Jesus. That is ridiculous. Okay, anyway. Um, it's a Reggie Bush auto for my Heisman collection that I'm starting up. Still, to this day, probably the best college football player I've seen in my lifetime. Um... I mean, that's my opinion, of course. I mean, some people may say Michael Vick. Some people may say Lamar Jackson that haven't been around for too long. Um, I mean, it just all depends. But for my money, he was one of the greatest of all time in college football. Obviously, didn't live up to the hype in the NFL. I still think he was a solid player in the NFL. Just, I mean, nobody could live up to that hype that was placed on him coming out of USC. So um, this is still a rookie autograph. Got this for like 7 bucks plus shipping. So I didn't think that was too bad. Um... Out of playoff signature, it's numbered out of 150. Is that corner dinged up there? That corner is dinged pretty bad. That's unfortunate. Um, I don't know. It's, it's kind of like peeling apart here at the corner too. If you can hear that, that's weird. Um, I don't know. I'll just put that into a mag though and call it a day. Still a cool autograph for pretty cheap, so I'm not going to complain too much. I 
bought this card a long time ago. It's just now coming in. That's kind of weird. Um, this is out of 17 Elite, the Orange Wave, number to 25 of, of Rivers. So. It's another one to add to the rainbow. And finally, this should be a nice one here. It's coming from Everett, Washington. Can anybody guess what it's going to be? He may or may not be on the table right now. Hint, hint. Um, I think it is anyway. <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay. Um, this is um, not the most expensive card. I think I paid like five bucks for it shipped. Again, it was a cheap PSA card. Uh, PSA 9 of a second year Griffey. Not too bad for around five bucks shipped, in my opinion. I mean, if you pay like what a 10 goes for, I think that's probably close to 30 or 40. So, I mean, you pay one sixth or seventh of the price to get a card that looks really damn good. Um, it looks very well centered, top to bottom, side to side. Corners look pretty good. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks like a 10 to me, honestly. So, paying a very small price for a 9 is a, a pretty good deal, in my opinion. So, pretty short mail day here today, guys. Let me know what you think, and I'll be back with another video later in the week. Thanks for watching.